Hi guys, follow me on Instagram to never ever miss any of my crazy updates. Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I'm driving this. This is the Mercedes S-Class, the seventh generation of the S-Class. This is the V223. This is the launch edition, which is an AMG line. And this is the S400 diesel with 4MATIC. And this is a CBU actually. Look, look at the key. Okay, the key doesn't look that special. It could have had a touch display for sure. This is to lock the car, this is to unlock the car, and this is to open the boot of the vehicle. Obviously, it gets electric tailgate. Straight away, we're going to be opening the engine bay of this ultra luxury car. And where is it? Oh, 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 you don't have to press anything. It just comes out. Oh my God, that is so much like a BMW. Meanwhile, it says six cylinder right there, a familiar engine which we have seen in the GLS. Both the engines come from the GLS actually. There's insulation right there along with this material for even better NVH inside the cabin. And the engine bay is massive in terms of size obviously that's what she said okay let's put this down okay it is the amg line but doesn't have many amg bits as such however in pictures the car doesn't look as good as it does in person it looks absolutely elegant and fantastic in real okay the ground clearance is on the lower side of course you've got this chrome lining lot of chrome on this car and this grille is also quite big a little bit like audi probably but yes different type of a grille design and of course, you've got front parking sensors, a front camera here, and this is open so it can breathe. And I think the one inside also opens. Can you see that? Yeah, probably that also opens. Okay. The highlight here is, of course, the light. It gets a digital light, which has more than 1 million micro mirrors on the inside so that it can project useful information on the road. Adaptive lights. It says Mercedes Benz right here. You can see that it has this blue tinge as well. And the lights are so advanced, it can project up to 650 meters of light. Really very sharp. LED units, of course, you can call them the HD lights. And this is obviously for the indicator, which is actually, yeah, on the other side, you can see the DRL of this vehicle. Okay, you've got the Mercedes logo on the top. Well, I don't know how they're going to do pedestrian safety. But coming to the side of the car, it is long. In fact, it's grown in size, it's grown in length, weight, height, wheelbase everything it is almost i think 5.3 meters long yeah that's right almost 5.3 meters long and almost 1.5 meters tall the wheelbase is bigger i mean more than 3.2 meters that's a really long wheelbase and uh, the width well that's also grown more than 1.9 meters so yes this is a very old very 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 long car Okay, the wheels are obviously very AMG-ish on this vehicle because AMG spec wheels. Ground clearance is low, but you can increase it. Yeah, you can increase the ground clearance by pressing some buttons on the inside and the ground clearance will increase. However, it is not that function of clearing a speed breaker where you raise the nose of the car. It is actually in a complex menu and it takes some time for this to happen as well. Get this chrome line on the side. Obviously, there's another camera here and also projects the Mercedes logo at night on the floor, of course. And you've got indicator on the side. The door handles are shut. They actually come out. Why are they not out right now? I don't understand. Okay, the door handles actually come out. I have to put the key and uh, remove the door handles there. You see, they come out. They are actually able to sense when you come near the car and automatically open as well. And this car has a ton of sensors, electric motors and whatnot. In fact, it has got five cameras, of course, one on each side and one for the 360 degree. And it's got five radars plus 12 ultrasonic sensors as well really very elegant super long super good looking car obviously you get rear discs that is something which is a given because it's mercedes 285 35 20 is the size of the rear wheels so low profile tires on this car paint scheme looks really very nice and coming to the rear you will love the lights look at the attention to detail of the lights okay that is the indicator functioning dynamic function of course and at night when you unlock the car it also like moves along that's also very cool says formatic right there the reverse camera is actually hidden it comes out from here and it's a big unit it's not a small it's a very big unit it says s 400 d right there and uh, the rear design also is something which grows on you with time now it got gets a sort of a diffuser treatment and the exhaust, well, these are fake exhausts, not real. Faisal Khan's fingers of truth are here, thankfully, to check that. Okay, the real exhaust, well, can you find it? There it is. There is the real exhaust, just one exhaust pipe. Well, that kind of suffices. Okay, underbody is very well concealed. You get rear parking sensors as well. A chrome line which continuously running throughout. The car looks magnificent, really very elegant, really very sexy. Let's open the boot of the vehicle, which means just press a button here. Electric tailgate. Okay, now because it has a subwoofer right there, there is some amount of space which has been taken away. And the boot carrying capacity is decent, but if you opt for a fridge, well, the boot carrying capacity decreases further. And here is the warning triangle and all. Nicely concealed in a box. First aid kit. 
here is a 12 volt charging socket this is for hooking on your bags and this chrome right there below here is a spare wheel which is a 145819 yeah it's not an alloy and it's a very small size spare wheel as well and you have storage space down there too okay let's shut this very okay there's the warning triangle and oh my goodness they have a lot of practical bits in fact you can see the lights yeah there are lights in the boot to i mean to warn stuff and whatever okay request sensor on all the doors it says mercedes benz here why are these door handles going in and out basically for aerodynamic efficiency it has a very low coefficient of drag just 0.22 doors open so wide enough now you actually need to have the electric function to close the doors i think that should be offered probably in the maybach version and it says mercedes benz here which is actually glowing as well lovely treatment lot of leather in fact they've kind of made a handle right there okay next to the armrest of course it's got a sun blind which is electrically retracting okay there are plenty of sun blinds in this car and absolutely stunning ambient lighting which in bright sun can also be seen that is the level of ambient light quality you can lock and unlock the car from here lot of buttons here if you press this button this seat will go and fold at the front this is for seat ventilation this is for seat heating memory function as well and all this you don't have to press as such i mean what you can do this is to actually activate you know control for the front seat you don't even have to press it you just slightly touch and action happens look at that i'm not even pressing i'm just like slight touch and this thing is moving ahead that is the level i mean this is absolutely bafflingly good you want to shut the ac vents you press this button and there they shut okay it comes out it shuts isofix child seat mounts obviously it's got a multitude of airbags 10 airbags to be precise in fact it also has an airbag here yeah a rear seat airbag airbag right there it says airbag right there okay there is a magazine holder there is a foot board a foot rest what you're going to do is you're going to shut this but before that i think it will be wise enough for me to get rid of my shoes yeah you cannot sit with your shoes in the rear bench of such an expensive car what you're going to do is we are going to actually move the seat all the way ahead and you can see there is so much luxury on offer it's absolutely baffling the kind of comfort the kind of luxury and this whole screen and the system is so smart enough now when it's moving ahead it's actually tilting back so it's still in your line of sight oh my god that is super cool okay just check yes that screen is actually tilting continuously to ensure that it is in your line of sight oh my god and it goes so far ahead this is absolutely baffling here plenty of knee room and leg room very good under thigh support excellent headroom as well actually this won't give a good picture because what i need to do is i want to recline the seat okay this is not reclined now i'm going to be reclining the seat check this out okay it also reclines by a great angle putting it all the way behind super comfort super luxury and those pillows are ultra soft as well there oh my god that is some recline angle super duper soft okay speakers and tweeters everywhere and there's a handle to hold on to and there are light placement on the top too yeah there is another light although i would have expected that mirror to be there which we are so used to in uh, all these luxury cars i can actually sleep here legit i can sleep here now this is actually the button to operate the rear sun blind yeah you can open or close the rear sun blind by pressing that button so actually the driver gets all the controls okay i'm just pressing this button and there it comes out and opens the rear sun blind on the rear windscreen ensuring that you know even the sun doesn't bother you much okay and you can recline this as well so all the controls are with every person almost in the car except this guy okay who everyone hates <laughs> okay now if i want to recline that the window or i want to put the sun blind up i can control everything at the rear with a touch of a button that is so sexy and obviously you get a screen here you get a screen there as well the recline angle is super duper awesome ac vents placed at the rear and uh, you know what it gets a four zone climate control ac ac vents here ac vents here as well let's turn on the air conditioning air conditioning is an absolute chiller works brilliantly well i just turn it off for the moment okay now you see there is actually a screen right here saying software update obviously it's an android tablet so it's going to be out of position of the time not knowing what software it should be using okay we just get that out for a moment now it's connecting basically with this it has mbux you can control all the car functions which you can do with that screen as well we we'll just keep that because yeah android is kind of slow let's open this and there's a wireless charging pad here along with storage space as well and there is this nice pillow too so <laughs> ultra luxury you can access the boot from here in order to carry larger items however i think you can opt for a refrigerator too so that is where it's actually going to be used and there is a microphone on the top every microphone is independent for every independent passenger 
for the voice commands of this car and you see ambient lighting is visible right now as well it's kind of baffling now let's come to this screen absolutely sexy screen okay you get all the functions which you get in the front screen uh, front screen obviously and there is the massage function you get so many massages you can get into seat you can decide how you want the seat you can get into ambient light colors as well it's got obviously 64 colors for the ambient lighting which is going to put it into red and look at that in the day i have never seen any car <laughs> whose ambient light is actually so visible that is the level of ambient light quality they call it the active ambient lighting yeah an active ambient lighting which is so freaking sensational and then obviously you can decide if you want a multicolor ambient lighting as well that's the multicolor one <laughs> oh my goodness this ambient light now there's a separate video all together there's something known as energizing comfort which we'll talk about when we get ahead now disappointingly though there's something known as info okay how much accelerator and brake the driver or the chauffeur is applying you can actually see it behind which is not such a good thing because you are like mm, my chauffeur is driving very rashly has he been inspired by fast beam okay <laughs> anyways jokes aside that's not true okay uh, media navigation everything is there in the screen i don't even understand why you want to go ahead and sit faster but we have to sit ahead i will tell you why in a bit because there's a lot to like ahead to okay Bermester speaker here beautiful lights this is a cabin which is ultra luxurious and you can also opt for a four seater which has a proper center console where there are tables and stuff okay you can put this back and close it to make it a five seater but it's not really advisable because you know this this is actually short okay and there is actually a lot of charging options two usb c two hdmi why hdmi you can actually connect this to netflix this particular screen to netflix and watch movies on the go now one might think that why is this car uh, having good under the high support because you won't believe it you can actually move this seat ahead yeah you can see that the seat is moving ahead you can do that and right now i'm in such a comfortable position while shooting the other way look at this okay what a beautiful cabin full marks to mercedes lot of leather lot of tech this is a car which is i mean fusing a few things together i just hope my shoes are not stolen by now so let's get out from here and those are my shoes now i'll tell you another cool function about this car which i will in a bit okay this has this sort of damping for the cup holder and there's space here as well everything the quality so real and it obviously has something known as soft door close check this out okay i don't have to close the door fully it will actually pull it in yeah soft door close for the win there you see soft door close and there it shuts it now here you see it says mercedes okay mercedes logo on the wipers as well and there are the sensors and radars and what not car is loaded with so much tech now it's absolutely insane mercedes has done a volvo in terms of safety a tesla in terms of technology and a mercedes in terms of luxury so they have done the best of almost everything it's absolutely mind bogglingly phenomenal i know you want to see the uh, the car how it looks from the front this is how it actually looks from the front absolutely gorgeous the front seats are also super duper awesome all the car is more about the rear seat but the front ones are also fantastic because you get massage function at the front you get cooling rather ventilation as well as heating at the front as well and mercedes benz written right there okay door pockets are big enough this is to open the boot again piano black finishing these are the controls for the outside rear view mirror these are the controls for the power windows and this is for the rear sun blind this is the headlight control meanwhile memory seats and you can adjust the seats from here just to lock or unlock the car and lot of leather beautifully done the dashboard design looks really nice now the thing is that i have actually pushed the seat so far ahead that seat that i'm going to put it back into place because yeah so that it doesn't look obnoxious i think you know what the mercedes should do they should take a leaf out of volvo's book and offer a three seater removing the co-passenger seat and giving obnoxious amount of legroom but probably they can do that with the mercedes maybach which is coming sorry the s class maybach because now we also have a gls maybach which means that whenever i say maybach it is not default s class it can also be the gls anyways there is so much attention to detail in this car freaking the ambient lighting is also there yeah i'm not kidding ambient light is also there on the seat belts yeah around the seat belt knuckles the uh, like where you actually put the seat belt there's ambient light there to check that out isn't that absolutely crazy they've gone ahead and made a car which is absolutely bonkers in terms of luxury and tech and you get metal treatment here along with a dead pedal this is the electric parking brake and the ac vents at the front are also super duper awesome let's do one thing let's get inside okay check this out door closes with a nice soft close okay now everything is new here mercedes has torn the rule book and made absolutely new stuff everything is brand freaking new first and foremost the glove box is decent size but there is the air freshener it's got air fragrance yeah and it smells really nice actually 
soft materials everywhere nice choice of materials and the ambient light is so big now you can see it in the day that's absolutely surprising okay auto dimming inside rear view mirror and this is also like a sort of a touch control there i just slide it and there it opens okay i'm going to open the rear one too everything is so smooth and it has this haptic feedback too so it's very reassuring here you obviously get a mirror and light same is the case here as well but you know what you also get another visor so that sun doesn't disturb you here either meanwhile there's a handle on the driver side too and seat belts get the height adjust function in fact the driver seat also gets a very soft pillow so the chauffeur also enjoys in this car thoroughly okay you have it here too i mean let me remove this yeah so you can completely block the sun inside this car and there are a lot of light placement on the top along with mercedes me which is the connected car tech which is a slew of connected car technologies you see this beautiful treatment everywhere the quality of materials are absolutely astounding below here you get a storage space along with two cup holders and an ashtray with mercedes logo on it which actually reduces your smoking capacity by 15% two usb c charging sockets and a wireless charging pad Unfortunately though it is gloss black which is a fingerprint magnet let's open this it is not deep enough that's what she said it's very shallow two usb c charging sockets there as well and mercedes has actually removed 27 hard buttons from this car and everything is not touch screen there is no command controller there is no touch pad everything is touch screen it's a beautiful touch screen it's one of the best i've ever seen it uses oled technology it's a 12.8 inch screen it has a 320 gb solid state drive and 16 gb of ram the numbers are absolutely astounding in this car it's such a beautiful unit okay, you've got some buttons this is for the volume control this is for mute this is to turn on and off the system this is for hazard light this is a button i honestly don't know what it does because when i press it now it i mean glows blue but nothing really happens this is to get into the car function this is for the camera and this is for the drive select okay the dynamic modes whatever now the good thing is the camera here is absolutely stunning look at the camera it is a 360 degree camera what a beautiful camera just look at it i mean the way the car i, I kid you not okay i'm just going to put an indicator you can see the indicator here you turn the wheels you can see that happening there as well the level of attention to detail is out of the world that is how bonkers mercedes has gone such a terrific one okay this is better than the one which i have seen in bmw as well as land rovers if i apply brake that can be seen as well what a beautiful camera and there are multiple modes for the camera as well okay there is a 360 degree mode but this is the side view just to tell you that when you're driving the car you know if you're going to be close to a curb or something of that sort front camera rear camera you name it all the beautiful cameras absolutely amazing super duper awesome okay let's get into the menu the usual mercedes menu of all these things like media apps comfort blah 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 info okay info will tell you like how much accelerate and brake you are applying at any given moment torque and power being used in real time as well and the fuel consumption as well however okay the good thing is in comfort now it's easy access because again you have got massage functions lot of massage functions you've got you know you can adjust the seats ambient lighting too multitude of them in fact you can see at night the ambient light looks absolutely stunning it looks so stunning in the day at night it looks even better one of the best ambient lights i've seen in any car i mean they just beat everyone rolls royce bentley are nothing in front of mercedes as far as ambient light goes okay there's something called energizing comfort but i'll not put that because there's a voice command which actually brings me to that hey mercedes how can i help i am feeling stressed maybe the program will help you enjoy it i will turn it on okay it has put a program called joy but joy is bmw so why are you doing that here that's funny and you know what every time any command happens or anything the ambient lights also blink okay it has got a blind spot monitor but you know what it actually you know blinks this in red when someone is in your blind spot when you put a indicator you want to go there such as the level of attention to detail now this is an absolutely fantastic and very fast screen let's get into settings okay you've got so much tech inside this car there's something known as avoid contact which shows you all the systems like active brake assist active lane keeping assist active blind spot assist everything is here okay you have so many assistants camera parking you name it this car is loaded with so much information that it's going to take ages just to understand and learn the same what a fantastic system in fact now for this particular screen you can have your own profiles and i mean for the rear screens as well along with the profiles it actually works with fingerprint yeah fingerprint face recognition and what not this is a screen from the future this is an infotainment system which is absolutely mind bogglingly stunning beautiful navigation system too so that's something which is hugely impressive let's do one thing let's listen to an audio right away because it's got 31 speakers okay 
The tweeter is right now inside. As I turn on the volume, check this out. Okay, how the tweeter comes out. That is some crazy tech. Now, of course, I'm going to play a proper audio at night, which you can hear right now. start stop button and this is actually for the auto stop start function nice chrome sort of knurled finish around here lot of piano black lot of wood but you know piano black is actually a fingerprint magnet there is very little to fault with the cabin of this car other than the fact that these four ac vents which are placed here they actually reflect somewhere here in the mirror you can see that rather in the windscreen you can see that that is only a gripe otherwise there's nothing to complain and this new mercedes steering wheel is beautiful to hold it's got these four stocks okay every stock has a control like this is actually for this screen yeah you can operate this screen from here and i'll just show you i come into comfort and then i come into home so you can operate this screen from here this is actually for the audio system and the voice commands and for telephone as well this is for the cruise control system and this is for this screen okay the screen right in front of you now the beauty here happens to be the fact that this is a very beautiful screen and easy to browse has all the information and has a multitude of instrument cluster modes okay this is of course the understated one wherein it's not showing me anything this is the sport one which is super duper awesome it also has engine data and geforce meter okay and then this is the exclusive one i don't know why it's so exclusive but it looks really very nice there's a classic one and you can actually browse through the multi information display in the center so yeah there you can get into energizing comfort the maps and basically all the data you would ever need while driving this car because all the other data is anyways showcased elsewhere right where else everywhere across in the instrument cluster you can see data like here is for the lane keep assist here is for steering assist and this is for the cruise control system digital speedometer is also present you have the temperature meter here clock here telltale tell lights everywhere now what i'm going to do is i'm going to come into the navigation uh, instrument cluster mode this is also super cool where the speedometer is on the top it doesn't really show you the tachometer that time you don't need it actually and it also has a tire pressure monitoring system and a slew of other systems as well look at this okay lane keep assist it's showing assistance systems and then there's something known as a service mode which telling me that tire pressure is low on the rear left this is actually an instrument cluster mode which you will see when we are driving this car this is so freaking amazing okay this is obviously the gas selector a little bit plasticky could have been finished completely in metal and this is the control for the indicators as well as for the wipers plenty of spray on offer okay it doesn't have magic board, uh, sorry magic wiper control because actually the spray is coming out from elsewhere and uh, the steering wheel is so good to hold filled with leather you got these metal uh, paddles as well and listen to the horn that is really very nice so as i see it this new mercedes is absolutely stunning but how is it to drive well let's get going before we start driving i have to show you this absolute cool 360 degree view so you can actually turn around the car to see what are the features available and it has so many features okay like you can randomly select whatever you like let's suppose we select on the system so it reaches the system and everything is very fluid the the whole system works really flawlessly fast and nicely okay this steering heating here you press this button now you can get into steering heating like why would you want steering heating in a car in india i don't know honestly okay now the reverse parking camera is absolutely gorgeous why you know when you turn it now the camera also turns can you see the camera is also turning why would it turn 
because uh, actually it's somewhere of a software play that is happening right there and when you turn on the car now there's this light spread which happens like typical of all mercedes cars it happens in all the mercedes cars when you turn on the car now the light spreads wide and it's sort of a dance from the light itself now of course it's got memory seats the memory seat actually happens to be for both the seat as well as the steering wheel so whenever you turn on the car the seat actually moves forward and even when you decide to select any of the memory seats it remembers your steering position as well now these happen to be touch lights yeah these are touch activated lights you see it has two lights inside same as the case at the rear there are like three lights so plenty of lights inside this car and of course this under thigh support can be extended further so under thigh support is not a problem here at all now when this seat actually goes all the way ahead there's actually a warning which comes in the instrument cluster telling you to be careful of the left side rear view mirror obviously you cannot see it anymore these ambient lights which you see they actually change colors so obviously like for the blind spot monitor it blinks depending on where the blind spot is it even blinks into red color when it detects that you're leaving a lane so depending on the lane which you're leaving on the left or the right side the lights will blink accordingly on which side you're leaving the lane and that is the same thing which is also shown in the instrument cluster and in case you leave the steering wheel while the lane keep assist is working it will actually show you a sign in the instrument cluster to hold the steering wheel yeah a sign to tell you to hold the steering wheel that is so cool like the kind of safety and attention detail in this car is absolutely mind-bogglingly phenomenal and in this particular mode if there's a car ahead you can see it by default everything is a car so in case a truck is passing by it will look like a car and then all of a sudden morph into a truck that's kind of hilarious but the attention detail is commendable inside this car now the assistance menu is so accurate that when you give indicators you can see the same thing change in the instrument cluster as well and in order to adjust your driving position it shows you six dots in the instrument cluster and ask you whether you can see it because then if you can you are in the right position if you can't well you need to really adjust your seating position anyways let's start driving right away we are actually starting from a signal because i want to show you this beautiful camera look at this okay the way this camera works is so fantastic and everything around is super duper accurate as well the way it maps it's absolutely mind-bogglingly bafflingly awesome only thing is once you hit a certain speed then the camera function will stop functioning i mean the camera will stop functioning but look at the display in fact i've put an indicator that also can be seen the wheels are turning that also can be seen and then i get on the throttle this will obviously shut but what a beautifully accurate system really very nicely done mercedes benz really very nicely done this is the new benchmark in terms of camera systems believe me okay it's just so fluid how did they get this so accurate i mean this is like a playstation to me right now that is the level of tech on offer from mercedes benz absolutely phenomenal and uh, i'm going to show you a lot of other important things like of course the ambient light function so keep your eyes alert to see the blind spot monitor as well where the ambient light actually turns into that okay we come to a halt but i want to get into the cameras again okay check this out right now the brake is applied can you see the cars around they are so freaking accurate everything building cars everything turning the wheels all of it can be seen in fact this system is so advanced that when you're driving regularly and if it senses something around the 360 degree parking camera shows there's dance of the sensors as well the steering wheel obviously gets adjust electric adjust both for reach as well as rake which is something you would expect obviously at this price point and from a car of this class and it has got six spokes i actually told you four spokes there are two spokes here and two here actually nuren reminded me for that so yeah hats off to her meanwhile she actually said five spokes to be honest okay let's get into the info menu right here we're going to get into engine meanwhile we're just going to shut this and in this mode we are going to get into sport plus of course and we have to turn off traction control too which means i have to get back here esp and esp off into gear left foot on the brake right foot on the accelerator revving the motor rev still two and a half thousand rpm upshift set slightly above four and a half thousand rpm motor is super smooth super refined i mean <laughs> it is absolutely epic this diesel engine doesn't feel like a diesel unless and until of course you sit outside and hear the diesel sound but you cannot do it because the car is so fast you can't hear it zero to 100 km per hour takes 5.4 seconds which is okay okay actually this is the s400 which is an upgrade from the 
the previous generation S350. So yeah, you get more power. This is a 2.9 liter unit. It's actually 2925 cc. It's a straight six motor, which produces 330 horsepower, which is actually decent poke from this motor. Meanwhile, the torque output happens to be 700 Newton meters, which comes in at a low 1200 RPM and stays there till 3200 RPM. Okay. The peak power of 330 horsepower comes around 3600 RPM and stays there till 4200 RPM. But you know, the way this engine performs absolutely sensational because there's so much grunt on offer. And it's all about silence. There's no kick in the pants feel because it's more lean. And obviously with the updated BS6 engines, you know, everything's become very leaner, which is kind of sad and disappointing as well. Okay, I actually turned on the ESP and then I forgot to get into the info mode, which is showing how much power and torque is being consumed in real time from this engine. Fantastic motor, really lovely. Top speed 250 kilometers per hour. It will easily achieve it because it is able to cheat wind to a certain extent because of the low CD which this vehicle has. You can see the ambient lighting, it's so beautiful. What we'll do, we'll actually, uh, I am able to operate this screen so easily while driving as well because it's so intuitive to use. Okay, we're going to change the ambient light colors to sort of green. You can actually see all this in the day and we are going to get back into the info settings as well. And now I'm going to change the cluster mode too. So we are going to get into sport. Ray, yeah, left foot on the brake, right foot on the accelerator. Traction control obviously off, rev still 2400 RPM. I love this. Every system in this car works fantastically well. Steering assist, active brake assist, obviously lane keep assist, and then blind spot assist, you name it. If it even has sleep assist and some of weird reasons was telling me to grab a cup of coffee in the morning and I was like, could you lend me some money for the same because I was like, I'll go to Starbucks. But anyway, jokes aside, this car now has more than 50% aluminium. That's right. The result, it weighs 60 kgs less than its predecessor in spite of the fact that it's become bigger in terms of size. So weight reduction has happened, it's become more rigid, but it feels super duper smooth. The ride quality on this thing is absolutely unbelievable. Air suspension, obviously, it has got adaptive dampers and no matter what you do in life, never hang out of the sunroof of the car. It's not safe for you guys. Never do that. Anyways, on to the gas. The surge is immediate. The gearbox is super smooth shifting and unfortunately, even though there is a manual mode inside, it doesn't give you manual control of things. It will upshift when and when it wants to upshift, that is. <laughs> so obviously, you can use the steering mounted paddles to make shifts, but you know, it will just upshift. It doesn't give you manual control of things, which is kind of baffling. Obviously, the chauffeur doesn't need manual control of things and usually the chauffeur is going to drive such a car. But if you want to take to the wheel, don't worry, there's an S63 AMG, which is going to be coming, which is going to be absolutely bonkers fast. And crazier still, I think they're going to give it some electric assist. And cars with electric assist obviously have that 48 volt mile hybrid system, which also results in e active body control, electronic active body control around the corners. It actually jinks into corners like nobody's business for a car, which is so freaking long. How does it manage to do that? Okay, it there you see, yeah, and it has this full red light which blinks right ahead of you. It blinks a red light to tell you that okay, you are approaching something, don't collide into it. The way they've played with even light colors now. Nah, Trust me, every car maker needs to learn to do it how Mercedes Benz does it. Now, let me be honest, ground clearance is actually on the lower side, but you can increase the ground clearance. It's a painful process because it takes just too long. You see, it's blinking red to tell me that there's something in my blind spot, boss. Don't do that. Wow, <laughs> lovely system. Driving this car is so easy that I question myself why am I even on the driver's seat? It should just drive itself and vlog itself. There, you see, the lane keep warning is coming here all the warning everything in your side this screen I, I was like skeptical i was like mm, what have they done the old screens were really nice but they have done a fabulous job mercedes you're really impressing me so much that i need to put my money down for an s class but i would prefer to get the my and if the s class is so good the my would be oh my god unbelievable we change the colors the color treatment omg is so phenomenal on this car okay i forgot to tell you it says mercedes right there. i always get stuck on the speed breaker i don't know why okay I think I, I I need to get a tow truck just to cross this speed breaker. This is obnoxious. Who made this speed breaker? Let's have a rally to remove this speed breaker. Anyways, we're going to change the cluster mode again. And I love the way it is like, it comes all the way. This is a very nice one. This is actually a 3D display. It looks super duper awesome. It's like amazing. And then the sound system is 4D. So Mercedes has gone bonkers. Traction control on and off, no problem at all. Firmatic system, okay, channeling power to both the front as well as the rear wheels. And you won't believe it. Every time you've gone on the dynamic seats, actually massage you. So I just want to go in circles for enjoying that massage. And the turning radius is very less because obviously 
it has cut the turning radius by almost 2 meters equivalent to a compact suv oh, these are not suvs fessel they are jacked up hatchback is whatever compact sub 4 meter cars that is a slightly more than that maybe that is a turning radius of this car all thanks to obviously rear wheel steering wheel which can turn up to 10 degrees on the 20 inch wheels or up to 4.5 degrees on 21 inch wheels when you're at slower speed you want a smaller wheelbase for better maneuverability so it actually reduces the wheelbase by turning in the opposite direction and at high speed you want a longer wheelbase so it turns along with the front wheels to increase the wheelbase of the car for better high speed stability and my goodness this is a very nice car to drive it is soft no doubt about it it is very softly sprung but the ride quality is so good it's like actually you're gliding through on bad roads and you won't believe we are shooting the maiba gls 600 today morning earlier today and unbelievable as it might sound okay i took it slightly off road and i could feel more in the gls 600 which is an suv than in this car which is not an suv it just glides the air suspension works so well on this vehicle ride quality absolutely brilliant there is obviously some amount of body roll which is always the case actually with cars which are softly sprung but still the steering wheel is accurate enough it's light at low speeds but really sharp enough at high speeds and inspires a lot of confidence so this is a car which can actually do 250 km per hour all day long on the autobahn in 400 to speeds above that just get a more powerful version of this car now the engine is obviously shared with the GLS yeah the engine is shared with the GLS braking performance is fabulous absolutely stunning stopping power here i'm going to turn on the hazard lights stops dead in its track and you know you usually don't even need to brake because the car does it for you it does almost everything on its own and now we are going to get into this service display which means we need to change the ambient light colors again and i'm just baffled by the ambient light colors we're just going to go to monochrome red is actually quite nice left foot on the brake right foot on the accelerator hazard light off and off we go You know the joy of driving this car is something else. You know why? Firstly, it keeps you calm. You won't believe my average heart rate has decreased by almost 17.45 percent driving this car, and you can see the Mercedes logo right there. That is such a nice feeling when you see that logo because it also helps you judge. Absolutely nothing, but yeah, that's still a lot of fun. I love uh, everything. The display is so crisp now, even in bright sunlight right now. You can see everything on the screen. That is the level of attention to detail, and this is kind of a pointless display for an instrument cluster. But still, I'm able to understand all the parameters of the vehicle. It says engine oil level is fine, and coming around the corners, yeah, no problem. Really nice. Of course, it's not a car to be pushed hard. Although I really wonder why they're giving it formatic. It could have done with rear wheel drive. Now, obviously, it uses the MRA platform, which is the Mercedes rear architecture, which has evolved over time. And oh my goodness, you can see the assistance system there. I can actually see cars and bikes in front of me. That is so cool. Okay, in the Mercedes world, cars look really very weird. But at least the S class looks fantastic. Now, fuel economy from this vehicle will be around seven to twelve kilometers per liter, depending on your driving style. The engine is actually shared with the GLS, so the S four hundred is a diesel and the S four fifty is a petrol. Same is the case with the GLS. both of them are straight six motors plenty of performance on offer you need more grunt probably the locally assembled cars might have more power but yeah they will be more attractively priced for sure now because of the long wheelbase you have to be a bit careful over speed breakers and you just can't go flat out high speed and the tires also low profile so you have to be careful on bad bumps as well there's a lot of cars around me i can just see one in front of me in this display which kind of looks like a weird prius or something like that but it's not a prius it's a kidnap van right ahead i don't know why the mercedes system is not able to identify probably in the mercedes world the concept of a kidnap van is not yet feasible okay we're going to take a quick u turn uh, there's a secret storage compartment here i can hide things if i so wish and uh, because of the fantastic rear wheel steering wheel taking a u turn is so amazingly easy okay just check this out effortless as it gets no problem at all this is a car which is as much pampering to the people who are sitting at the rear as it is to the driver as well and obviously mercedes seems to love their drivers too because they're giving them so much tech to play with okay now you come to this beautiful navigation screen in 3d it looks obnoxiously good the only problem is you guys might not be able to get that effect right now so you probably have to head to the nearest mercedes showroom to check out the 3d display in the mercedes s class fab absolutely fab okay so now we're going to come around the corner which means i'm going to downshift i'm going to downshift i'm going to downshift in sport plus actually i did not talk about the drive mode did i know i did not we will talk about it in a bit okay coming around the corner just look at the way it feels so composed okay with that uh electronic uh, 
I keep forgetting ABC, Active Body Control System. Okay, there are radars which are able to read the road condition ahead and adjust the suspension accordingly to ensure that your ride is extremely smooth and you don't feel the bumps. And with that system, no, you do not get the bounce mode because this is not going to go off road. It doesn't have to rock to get out of snow or sand or whatever conditions. But you know what? That system also has another major benefit, which I will tell you after we stop. Okay, there are four, also actually there are five drive modes on offer. There's of course Eco mode, which is actually useless in a Mercedes S Class because you're paying so much money. You don't care about fuel efficiency now, do you? And there's Comfort, there's Sport and there's Sport Plus as well. And there's an individual mode. What do they do? They alter a lot of parameters. Like they said, the drive, which is actually the engine as well as the gearbox. And because I can put it into manual mode, the engine. And in individual mode, I can adjust the drive, which is the powertrain engine and gearbox into Eco, uh, Comfort, Sport, Sport Plus. And the funny thing is, it also alters, of course, the ESP system. Why? I don't know. So what we are going to do is we are going to get into the individual mode wherein I have set everything to maximum all attack with the ESP system into sport. Otherwise, I had turned off the ESP system. Now, you see, there is no difference. ESP on or sport, it doesn't make any freaking difference. It's just for fun's sake. It also alters the steering wheel. It feels a little bit more weighty in sport mode for sure and feels more... And it feels better to drive as well and then it alters the suspension too it has got adaptive dampers air springs and whatnot in comfort mode it really glides on the worst of roads in sport mode it feels a little better to drive for sure without a doubt but i will just keep the car in comfort mode and glide through because that is what this s-class is meant to do that is where it truly excels all right we are in understated mode everything is like really understated you can't really see much of it we are going to change the color again and there are like so many colors to play with 64 colors and it actually changes the color on the instrument cluster as well that is some attention to detail Hama said is absolutely baffling attention to detail Nurin choose a color I will give you that option today yeah she'll choose red because she has this really loud nail paint anyways left foot on the brake right foot on the accelerator and off we go <laughs> I love how the cluster is done in every way like as you move along with the speed there, the numbers actually come. That's very cool. Now, I was telling you about this uh, EABC, which is Electronic Active Body Control, which works with the 48 volt mild hybrid system to adjust the compression, the damping, and can increase or decrease the height of independent wheels depending on the driving situation, which is fantastic, of course, resulting in a fabulous ride quality. But with that mode, there's also, I mean, with that system, there's another mode in this dynamic setting, which is known as curve mode wherein the car can lean up to three degrees like a motorcycle to counter body roll <laughs> okay it's not rocket science because we've seen the same in the mercedes maybach s650 v12 which is the sixth generation of the s-class now this is the seventh generation this is the mild muncher what a fantastic car i think mercedes has nailed it yet again what they have not nailed though is the pricing because it costs almost twice when compared to its rivals the bmw 7 series and the audi a8 no doubt it makes both of them look two generations old already because of the level of tech mercedes has pulled a rabbit out of a hat to give us a car which is so tech laden the price of this car 2.49 crores the petrol one will cost you around 2.52 crores lot of money compared to the old s class and at this price level you were actually getting the last generation my but then this is the cbu and again the launch edition amg line and all so with obviously with time they are going to bring in the ckd models which are going to be more aggressively priced i i love the fact that you can browse through this so quickly as well this is absolutely stunning everything in this car pin point accurate although i feel you know they should have given maybe mild hybrid tech as well which is available abroad considering the cbu they could have offered us a lot more as such so guys this is my vlog of the mercedes s class the seventh generation it's known as a v223 many of you are going to comment w223 no w223 is the short wheelbase version the long wheelbase version is a v223 and almost i think 80 percent of the s classes sold in the world are the long wheelbase model if you're buying an s class why would you buy a short wheelbase model you rather get the e-glass instead and that also comes in a long wheelbase model so yeah mercedes's focus is on comfort 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 and space and i think almost 30 percent of sales come from china alone yeah chinese buy a lot of mercedes s classes the eco display says i'm seven percent efficient wow If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. That's the like button. And also subscribe to the channel. I love how this is dancing. I'm on the throttle. It becomes red. I'm on the brakes. It becomes green. And then it becomes blue. The eco display. Every time I do something now, I discover something new. <laughs> this is a car you need to spend days and years together. And you should not be bored. Because there's obviously always a surprise which is waiting to happen. To tell you what the fuss is all about.
Bye-bye.